Hey guys, yeah, that's it. This is what military sleeping bags are made for. For being in a dirty environment, being in rough conditions and to take a lot of abuse. So this is why I do this video. But at first this video is sponsored by militaryshop.lv. They have some products from Carinthia and Carinthia is the manufacturer of this sleeping bags and the jacket which I often use and I really like those stuff and this is why I decided to make this video and tell you a bit about the idea behind it and about the G-Loft insulation. If you're looking for a sleeping bag you will often find two different kinds. At first is the down ones. The down ones are like feathers from uh, goose for example and the synthetic ones. If you look for synthetic ones you will find different kinds of insulation. Cheap ones will have something like cheap, uh, cheap insulation and there are some other companies that use high quality insulation material. For this video I decided to go into G-Loft. This is the insulation which is made by Carinthia. I've worked with them for quite a while now so I have a really good knowledge about their products and a lot of experience with their products. But at first let's talk about Carinthia themselves. This company is based in Austria and all those products are made within Europe. So this is really cool if you want to buy a local product with good work conditions uh, etc etc. Now let me show you some footage I have made in one of their production facilities in Austria. The material from G-Loft is a synthetic one and the fiber is a hollow fiber so you can think about it as small tubes so there's air inside and as you all know insulation comes from air or air pockets inside the clothing. This is why a layering concept works really cool because if you add different layers you will add more air pockets to your clothing and therefore you will have more insulation. And this is what Gilov does. At first you have the air inside the fibers and then from threading it and making it like something fluffy you have even more air inside and this with a relatively low weight. Yeah, at the beginning there was like only the Gilov and now they have a lot of different kinds of Gilov. They have strong ones which are relatively cheap for like military because they are stronger and they can take more abuse, they are easier to make. And they have a really fine ones that are really light for ultralight insulation for jackets you are wearing in mountain sports when you are really active and you're sweating but you want to still want to have insulation. So they have a wide spectrum, just check their website and make sure to read about it if you want to know more about G-Loft itself. <laughs> now enough about some technical data, now let's talk about experience and about the main difference between down and the synthetic fiber, in this case G-Loft. Down is really cool because it's lightweight and you can compress it a lot and this is why those high-speed mountain sports sleeping bags are that light and that compact. But when down gets wet it falls together. So it loses the insulation. It doesn't really have to get wet sometimes and it only has to get enough moisture. There are some data and some numbers which can predict how it will perform and some down sleeping bags even have dry or impregnated down inside. But if you break it down, down is not good when dealing with wet or with moisture. This is what I experience and this is what a lot of people experience. Of course there will be some special products I think which can deal with wet conditions better and when it's really cold like minus 20 degrees Celsius or co even colder then maybe considering buying a down sleeping bag can be a good idea. But in the military you don't always walk around in really cold conditions. You also have to use the sleeping bag in summer. You have to use one when you are in tropical environments, you have to use one when it's raining and it's cold. And this is where the difference is between military sleeping bags and civil or mountain sports sleeping bags. Because the uh, military ones have to take a lot of abuse. Yeah, what does it mean? Sometimes you step in them with boots on, with dirt, with wet clothing. You don't really have the time 
to build a proper shelter, you are in a hurry, you have limited space or you only have a flat uh, observation shelter thing or a height, a sniper height, and there you have condensation, dirt, water, sometimes heavy rain and you are outside. In most cases when you are in the civil world, you can choose between uh, am I going outside today or not? And in the military, when it's when you have to go outside, you have to go outside no matter what weather it is. So those military sleeping bags have to perform at all weather conditions, even when they are wet or if they have enough moisture. Of course, if you place yourself inside the water, that will get soaking wet and as soon as there's no air pockets anymore, the insulation will go almost down to zero. But from my experience, I can also tell you when you are in conditions where it's raining and then in the night, in the night it's freezing and then it's again getting wet, this gelof material works really good. Previously I have done a mountain trip and there I had this experience. I was walking in rain, going there, building up my tent and then it was all wet. The sleeping bag was all wet. The tent was wet because then it started snowing and it melted and so on and so on. And also from my experience in the German military, I can tell you the sleeping bags can take a lot of abuse. Of course, if you compare the data and the fact of this military sleeping bags and the civil ones. If you use it for the civil world or for mountain sports, whatever, it will not be the perfect choice to choose a military sleeping bag because they are made for special uses or special purposes. Yeah, the military ones. Now let's jump into the products. There are three classic products which are also important for militaryshop.lv. At first, an insulation jacket, that's a Carinthia MIG jacket, that means mid-insulation garment. So it's a jacket that goes down to minus 15 degrees and yes, I can approve this because I used it in minus 18 degrees and it worked quite good. So this is an insulation jacket but with... It's almost also like some rain protection but it has got a lot of insulation. So it will perform well when you are in the military and you walk around when it's around zero degrees and it's wet and it, it's getting cold. This jacket will perform really good. Another classic is the Carinthia Tropen. That means uh, like tropical. It's a thin sleeping bag for, tro yeah, for summertime or for the tropen, so the tropical environments. You can combine it with the sleeping bag, I will show you later. But at first the special thing is the zipper doesn't have an auto break. So this means, you have just seen it on the beginning, you only have to pull and it opens. In the civil world this can be annoying, but in the military sometimes you have to get out of the sleeping bag really fast and for this having this feature is crucial. So this is why those sleeping bags have got those zippers. The tropen even has got a mosquito netting so you can cover your face and there will no bugs come inside. And yes, they can take the abuse of placing them on the ground, stepping on them and they will not get holes that fast. And this is why they are heavier than the civil products. Now here, another classic. You will find a lot of videos, especially in Germany, about the Defense 4. This is a really widespread sleeping bag. Also in the bushcraft community, a lot of people use the Defense 4. The Defense 4 is made for uh, down to, I will put the data somewhere here, and it's a really thick one with only a small hole. The Tropen has got the zipper on the side and the Defense 4 has got the zipper in front. It has got a flap with Velcro to make the zipper even more sealed. And again, the zipper can be opened just by pulling. So you can get outside of the sleeping bag really fast, even if you are inside with boots or clothing or even with your rifle inside. And yes, I slept in the sleeping bag with my rifle multiple times. <laughs> 
but I don't want to go too much into details of the products. Just make sure to visit the website of militaryshop.lv. I will write it down here. I will also link them down in the description. Here's a discount code you can use. In Europe, you will have free shipping for orders over 200 euro. This is really cool and just add a discount code to get, to get some discount. That's it. I hope you liked the video. Feel free to comment what sleeping bag you are using. And also, if you want to subscribe, feel free to subscribe, hit notification and see you next time. Bye. Shit. Ausgegangen.